I wanted to make today's vlog about not getting my tomatoes. Um, so I always eat my food here at this place. Well, pretty much always. My breakfast and it's always omelette. And every time the meal consists of one omelette, one small salad. I just want to make sure they don't hear me. Well, they can hear me. Um, so every time the breakfast consists of one omelette, one small salad and two halved tomatoes roasted. And this time they brought the food and had the omelette and it had the small salad, no tomato. And usually how I would deal with this situation is not do anything about it. Because I'm like, it's not that big of a deal. It's like two fucking half tomatoes. It's not gonna, you know, it's not like that's an amazing amount of food. It's not that I'm gonna be like, that much more hungry now because I don't have them. It's like, it's two fucking tomatoes. Like who fucking cares? Like just don't do anything about it. And I thought that meant that I'm being nice, you know, that I'm so nice that I don't even mind, you know, not getting my two tomatoes, which are by the way, on the menu. If you order it on the menu, it says you get an omelet, you get a small salad and you get roasted tomatoes. Today, they brought me that food and the tomatoes were missing and instead of how i usually would react saying like it's not that big of a deal whatever i'm just gonna eat that and not gonna say anything this time i actually went down and said hey what usually and i said it in a nice way i just asked like hey usually there are two tomatoes why are they not here this time and they said oh sorry we forget about it forgot about it let me just roast you two tomatoes right now and they just gave me my food with the two tomatoes and um, what I realized is that it's not being nice it has nothing to do with being nice that if someone else fucked up because well in a way they fucked up it's on the menu it says omelet salad and roasted tomatoes they didn't bring me the tomatoes so they fucked up it's not being nice um, by not letting them know or by just letting it slip or just saying like you don't you know what doesn't make a difference doesn't matter I'm just gonna not say anything that is that is actually the opposite because it's a good thing to let people know when they made a mistake and not in a way with condemning and I didn't go down there and I'm like what the fuck guys where are my tomatoes like what's wrong with you guys I just ask hey usually there are two tomatoes you know, could I, what, 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 could I get them? Um, because imagine there's a new cook, you know, and he just doesn't understand the menu yet that well. And so, and I think actually that's what happened. And you just forgot to put them on there. And then you want to let them know that they made a mistake. So next time they can improve. Because if you don't let people know that there's a mistake, they can't improve. But actually that's the you know that's the intellectual explanation of why it makes sense to let people know them when they did a mis mistake but i realized why i usually my usual mode is like oh it's not that big of a deal i just not say anything i always framed it as being nice it's not it is being i guess complacent with you know what you have because it's like it's just two tomatoes, I'm not hungry or anything. It's like, they won't make a difference for me. It's not a, a lot of food. I can just buy another meal if I'm really hungry. But, you know, and this is what I learned from Anastasia because she is fucking relentless with that. Like if there's anything missing or anything not the way that was promised or it was on the menu or someone said they would do it, like she's fucking on top of it and they're gonna let them know she's gonna let them know she's like tomatoes are missing bring me back a new meal with the tomatoes and i think that's a mindset that you get if you grow up in circumstances that are not like as privileged as i had them right because for me two tomatoes don't make a difference even if i'm paying the same amount of money in certain circumstances like Anastasia came from you know from Belarus and then she came to the US literally with nothing you know with there were days which she had ten dollars in a pocket and like in those days it makes a difference you want your fucking two tomatoes and it's not like I'm starving right now 
But I think just realizing that it has nothing to do with niceness if someone promised to deliver on something and then they don't deliver on something to make sure that you're getting what you are entitled to get. If it says it on the menu, you are supposed to get it. And if they don't have tomatoes, give me a bigger salad or give me one more egg and the omelet, like compensate for it. That's up to you. Um, but yeah, it's, um, it's, uh, it has nothing to do with being nice. It's being entitled, it, not entitled, it's being complacent. It's being like, oh, you know, I'm so well off. Like it doesn't make a difference to me. Um, and um, yeah, that's, that's a f funny observation that I just noticed that for the first time, like it wasn't something that was I had uncomfortable. I was like, where are my two tomatoes? I want my two tomatoes. And maybe that's the, you know, the that's probably to an extent the low budget that I'm on right now where I'm like, now that I'm on a, such a low budget, I'm like, I really need to make sure that I'm, you know, seeing all these things. Um, but just reframing it in my head. It's not being nice. It's being complacent and not wanting to deal with an uncomfortable situation. So yeah, I know I repen repeated myself a lot, but I just thought that's kind of interesting. And now I got my two tomatoes, and now I'm gonna eat my omelet. Peace out. Hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up. See the 